Panther people, what up? Preseason game number two. Bryce had some bright spots. Panther still loses one, 21-19, but who cares about the score? It's preseason. Let's talk about that first Giants drive with their starters. It was the only drive that they had with Daniel Jones under center, and they scored pretty easily against the Carolina Panthers defense that didn't have newly acquired Justin Houston or Brian Burns on the defensive line. So Daniel Jones really had as much time as he wanted. He can just thread the needle over uh, to his tight end to eventually find himself at the end of a 75-yard drive for an easy touchdown. Uh, and so is what it is. I You can only take what you can from the secondary. You know, they were getting zero pressure on Daniel Jones, I, and then all the pressure was suddenly on the secondary to try to make a play. I thought Von Bell had some pretty good uh, tackles there to try to stop a play dead in his tracks. Uh, J.C. Horn, he didn't get hurt. That's all I could say, really. He didn't get hurt. But what we're really here for, and that's Bryce Young. I could talk about that first drive, and it was just kind of like a feel him out drive. His first away game at MetLife Stadium it seemed pretty tame there. Again, preseason game number two. Uh, but Bryce Young, again, um, looking pretty calm in the pocket, despite the fact that there was some pressure heading his way pretty early. I think he navigated that pretty well. He had a very clear throw to Jonathan Mingo, who he targeted at this point, because I'm watching thus far, at least three times. Let's talk about Bryce Young's first drive with the Carolina Panthers. This is his first away game at MetLife Stadium, which didn't sound like a normal MetLife Stadium. Very calm. Again, preseason game number two. I thought, again, uh, some bright sides there. Uh, he did have some overthrows. Uh, but I think he was just throwing things away. But also, uh, some bright spots. I think his movement in the pocket continues to be very calm, cool, and collected. He did have Jonathan Mingo wide open. If only Jonathan Mingo kept running. Jonathan Mingo seemed to kind of stop in his tracks in the middle of the field and just kind of reach the ball out. You know, if he just kept running, it would have hit him in stride. I think he would have made a ton of yards after that. But that was that first drive. Let's take a look at that second drive. And it showed basically a mixed bag of everything. Chuba Hubbard had a pretty nice six yard run. And let's take a look. Okay. So they hand it off to Chuba Hubbard. He breaks to the outside and again, gets the first down. All right. Shout out to Chuba Hubbard. Again, Miles Sanders not playing in his second straight preseason game. It's fine. He's a veteran. You don't want to mess up with the groin. Hopefully the groin is just, you know, a soft issue. It's not really a big issue that they just don't want to rush him out there for no reason. Just get him ready for week one. He's a veteran. He knows exactly how to play the darn game. Nice. Okay. It's almost like this. Okay. Duff. This is why Jonathan Mingo is potentially could be wide receiver one material. And the fact that Terrace Marshall is out again with a bat, not again, but he's out with a back injury. Could be out for a couple weeks. But just take a look. This is almost the exact same play as last time. Now, not completely, but the fact that Jonathan Mingo just keeps running, and he goes for the ball. He doesn't stop in his tracks. He gets the ball. He has to jump a little bit. But the fact that the cornerback thought that he could just try to hit stick him did not work. He bounced off, and then Jonathan Mingo, using his athleticism and just giganticness for a wide receiver, that is, to get some extra yards there. Beautiful gain there for the rookie wide receiver, who I think could blow up this year if given the opportunity. And right now, he's getting it with TMJ out with that back injury. Just take a look. Okay, look at this. this okay. I know they compare him to Russell Wilson at times because of the stature, but just everything about that play, let's take a look at that again. Everything about that play just kind of showed you everything you needed to know about Bryce and how calm, cool, and collected this guy is. He's in shotgun now. The Giants are going to get flagged, I think, for a neutral zone infraction. Take a look at Bryce Young. So he's reading through the field. He's working up the pocket. He sees a defender. He rolls around, falls on the ground, gets back up, knows he hasn't been touched yet, and then signals to Adam Thielen, who almost comes down with the catch. So they're not going to replay this because it's a penalty. It's, 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 a, it's a dead play. It doesn't matter. But the fact that he read through the pocket, he, mo he, he, mo he moved through the pocket calmly, up in the pocket, found there's a defensive player behind him, ducked, rolled around behind, fell down, realized he didn't get touched yet, kept running, and continued looking downfield to try to find Adam Thielen. And Adam Thielen almost coming down with the catch. Special stuff. Oh, just undershot Jonathan Mingo. But again, Jonathan Mingo and uh, Adam Thielen, two wide receivers that he's targeted, I think, at least three times at this point in the game. But he seems to definitely have an eye. At least it, I'm not worthy looking. It looks like his first read was Jonathan Mingo on that play. On Twitter machine, what needs to happen for the Carolina Panthers to set Bryce up for success? And the number one thing people said, or at least the one thing one person said, and uh, there were only a few responses that I got, was establish the run. And they are definitely doing that with Chuba Hubbard. So I don't know what happened there, whether Ikea Kwanu, second year guy, 
at NC State thought that he was getting help on his left side. You just take a look here. It looks like he just passes Thibodeau off. And then it's just a free shot. It's a free shot, number nine. He obviously lays off on him. He could have absolutely destroyed him, but he arm tackles him, brings him down. Bryce Young barely even hits the ground, really. But I don't know what happened there. I, I don't know if he's going to talk about that in post game, but Ike Kwanu there, maybe with a mental error, not really understanding the protection there, or Bryce didn't add protection to give him some help there. But what turned to a promising drive has kind of turned sideways a little bit. It's third and 16. I delay a game now on the offense. Mental mistakes here. Again, this is not even a loud MetLife Stadium. Like, imagine Lambo, Soldier Field. All right, so Bryce Young going deep to find Hayden Hurst. These are the plays that Hayden Hurst makes. As a tight end, he makes these eye-catching throws, but there is a flag on the play. Uh, but Bryce Young... Again, calm, cool, and collected. The Panthers 0-2 on the preseason. Do I care? No. What I care about is that the offense was moving with Bryce Young. Uh, sans Miles Sanders. Sans Terrace Marshall Jr. I did see some bright spots with Bryce Young, as I mentioned before. I still think his pocket movement is borderline elite. The fact that he is so calm, cool, and collected. He seems to know the direction the defense has taken the offensive line before it even happens. So then he finds himself never really crowded that much. Uh, there was that one uh, series, his second and only series, but it was a very long second series that ran into the middle of the first quarter into the second quarter. Um, you know, the fact that he felt pressure, tried to deke out of it, fell down, got back up, motioned to Adam Thielen. I think if he just had his footing a little bit better, Adam Thielen kind of read the situation a little bit better, could have come down with the catch and moved the chains. Um, he had a great throw that didn't count because uh, there, I believe there was holding on that offensive holding. Great connection with Hayden Hurst there as well. They would have kept the chains moving. Delay a game on Bryce Young eventually. So that was not that was not a great end of the series. But the beginning of that second series, um, you know, it, it shows all the things in Bryce Young that you want. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what they do in that third preseason game. Do they put him in for less? Or would they want him to cook a little bit more? Literally, like maybe play a whole half. And then if he's healthy, Andy Dalton in the second half, or just let Matt Corral continue to do his thing in the second half. But it'd be interesting to see how Bryce Young would react to that. You know, uh, you know the delay of game mental mistake there. You know, maybe not connecting with Adam Thielen properly down that, on that scramble there, that broken play. Um, you know, getting just a field goal, wanting that touchdown, that first touchdown as the Carolina Panther, even though it was in the preseason. I'm interested to see how he would do in a, in a, in a full half of preseason football. Uh, but yeah, three for six, 35 yards, zero touchdowns. Uh, and, and again, I was impressed with Jonathan Mingo, one catch, 15 yards, but that one catch for 15 yards, I thought showed a lot about why we like Jonathan Mingo and why we like the way that they, that the way he plays. Um, he kind of plays with that sense of urgency. Um, and I hope he makes the most out of this opportunity because we'll see how long Terrace Marshall is going to be out. Now uh, the Panthers have their last preseason game. Friday the 25th, 8 p.m. Again, prime time at home against a Lions team that a lot of people are picking uh, to be one of the powerhouse teams uh, in the NFC. So I think that's going to be a real test. They have a pretty good defense. Uh, they got two first-round picks on the defensive line, and so it's going to be a lot of pressure on the offensive line, who I will say, at least when Bryce Young was under center, besides that one mess-up by Ike Kwanu, I don't know what that issue was, uh, I think they played pretty well. He didn't get a lot of pressure up the middle. And for a short guy, that's a good thing. Um, we had that one uh, Chandler Zavala mistake. So the NC State Wolfpack guys, maybe not the greatest time with their starting quarterback under center. Uh, but all in all, I thought the offensive line did great. I thought uh, they were definitely improved there. Not a lot less pressure. Uh, again, not all the starters were playing at that time for the Giants. Actually, no, Thibodeau was, so I take that back. But again, against the Lions, I would like to see if they're all healthy, you know, a full Carolina Panthers offense first team available up against the Detroit Lions. That means Miles Sanders is back. If he's 100%, if TMJ is back, put him back in there. I'd like to see what that is because, uh, uh, you know, again, at the same time, while he showed flashes, John Domingo is still just a rookie. Uh, shout out to other wide receivers there that made pretty good, you know, made the most out of their opportunities. Shy Smith, again, Preseason wonder. I hope he can translate this into the regular season. Four catches, 59 yards. Gary Jennings, uh, one catch, 20 yards, but as a touchdown later in the game. And uh, Raheem Blackshear, 
Guy runs hard. He runs hard. Him, him and Spencer Brown run hard. And I, I like that out of both those guys. And uh, Cameron Peoples not getting any love. So I don't know if he's going to make the team. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on Bryce Young. Are you more encouraged by this? Like, the, the stats aren't great because he played two series. Um, played, a you know, a, a quarter and a half. Uh, three for six, 35 yards. But in between the lines, what did you see? Did you like what you saw out of Bryce Young? Did you like what you saw out of the offensive line? Let me know what you think about Jonathan Mingo and also the Panthers' defense. What can you say? You had your two starters, your two stars. Justin Houston and Brian Burns not even playing. You didn't have Shaq Thompson playing. So say what you will about the defense. Uh, again, not that worried about it. Uh, but again, Panthers 0-2 on the preseason. Time to freak out? Not really. Let me know in the comments below how you think, how you think they should line up against the Lions in preseason week three. See you guys soon.